Is it my turn? Yes. It is time. You will soon be one of us. If your body and mind are ready. I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. Good enough. Prove it to us. It's like in my dream. You who sleeps, accept this dream under... Bradley, what are you doing here? I saw two odd-looking guys coming down. Seemed up to no good. What in the world is this? An intruder! Oh, shit! Don't move! Police! Don't move! I won't hesitate! Bradley, get Pursuit. back! Get back! You asked for it! Light! At last. having a seizure. Who will survive? A strong subject. There, he's opening his eyes. He saved him, Fuller. I, I can't get up. Don't move, Pierce. You can certainly say that you gave us a scare. <laughs> what did you do to me? Undo these straps! Whoa! Go easy, my friend. You were dead. He killed you. Are you sure he's better? He was... He was dead. Me too! We, we were dead! What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. <laughs> What? No! <gasps> what happened to me? Where am I? Stop. You will choose. 
I will not be here to bear witness to it, because you will have released me. But the earth will resound to your cries, or theirs. You there. Wake up. Come on, stand up. We don't have much time. Can you stand up? Who are you? A friend of Ethan Bradley. It was he who told me that you had been interned here. Wait. Bradley is really alive? I don't understand. You filled me... So full of drugs, I can't distinguish dream from reality. Please believe that I have nothing to do with these disgraceful treatments. Look, I don't have time to explain everything. I'm not really supposed to be here. And the same goes for you, according to Ethan. You must leave as soon as possible, and as unobtrusively as possible. I've brought you your clothes. Let me go ahead. We'll meet upstairs. You. Yeah, you there. Come here. I don't know- What do you want? Sleep. That's all. Sleep? You don't want to leave? No! Have you seen the storm that's brewing? I'm fine here. Except for one problem. You want sleeping pills, right? Yeah. And in exchange, I can make noise. Lots of noise. You'll draw the guards to your cell to allow me to escape. So, you in? Find something to make me sleep, and I'll take care of the guards for you. Scopolamine, morphine, opium, nothing but common drugs. My new friend's sleeping pills. And remember, they don't come for free. Don't you worry, you'll have your diversion. Go on now, go hide yourself. The crows, they're everywhere, make them go away. Is that you? Don't you worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll have plenty to keep him busy with his precious machine. It gives us time to get away. I'll undo you. Get away? Get away where? I, I can't go anywhere. It'll find me, like it found me here. You're mistaken about the beast. Don't stay with me, or you'll end up the same way. What the hell? Oh God. I got I got it. Later. We need to move on. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the Force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Well, well. Look who's here. You know each other. Our paths crossed. Briefly. 
The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death? Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? <laughs> 